I have this DD15 engine completely apart and the reason why this DD15 um, engine is open is because uh, it is consuming oil. It is very unusual the problem because this engine was repaired before. Uh, engine overhaul was done probably like six months, seven months ago. And suddenly this engine is starting to consume oil for no reason. Um, you know, uh, there is the possibility that the crankcase filter goes bad and that is the reason why the engine is disappearing. But that was replaced after a while because that was the concern. And still the engine was consuming oil. The major um, reason why you don't believe, you never going to believe that the engine is bad is because we just replaced the components of the engine, the internal components. In this case, the pistons and the cylinder liners were replaced, which uh, means then the engine could be in a really good condition. But in this case, I have a problem. The oil consumption was getting worse and worse every time and uh, I think it was getting like 3 uh, gallons every 10,000 miles or something like that or less than that, not sure. But it was um, going like that and that was really bad because that was something that I was not even expecting, nobody was expecting. So at the end, we decided to open the engine. As you can see, the engine is completely open. You, you can see that the engine still looks clean. Everything looks clean because it was resurfaced. Engine block was resurfaced and everything. Cylinder were replaced new, piston were replaced new. And, uh, and, and that's right. I mean, like uh, there was no uh, reason to believe that the engine had a problem. But in this case, it has. So on cylinder number four, that is where the issue is. On cylinder number four, the cylinder walls are damaged. You can see the difference on the cylinder uh, lines over there. Let me see if I pull more light. Looks a little better right there. You can clearly see how the cylinder looks. On this side over here, I don't know if you can get it to this side, you can see that there is a big mark, that one over there, that is a bigger damage. That's where the oil was getting consumed as maximum. But on this side, it is just cylinder damage. There is no scratches, it is just the overwear of the cylinder. And that was the reason why this um, engine was consuming a lot of oil. So this is a problem that can happen to anybody at any moment after a, a cylinder, as, after an engine overhaul. And, um, and as I said before, because you believe that the engine was replaced, was repaired and everything, the engine won't have any issues and that's the reason why you don't want to believe that the engine has problems like that. But in this case, that is the, um, the problem. Uh, that's the reason why we have it all apart. And um, I can clearly see then the damage then this uh, cylinder has. It is not a mechanical damage, like a uh, bad insulation or something, because there is no major scratches or uh, uh, pistol ring scratches. It is just like the cylinder didn't resist or something then the piston ring didn't resist, something like that. If this damage happened for a defect then came internally in the components we installed previously when the engine was repaired but uh, we didn't know that and that is the reason why we are getting this issue on this DD15 engine. The way to repair it will be to replace the cylinder that is broken. Um, cylinder number four got to be removed and the piston got to be removed and in this case, um, the parts are under warranty. So we have to take these components to the warranty department of the dealer where we bought them. That way we can get the new parts back. But still, labor-wise, it's still gonna be the same. 
um, we have to remove the, all the components to remove this so basically the whole entire engine has to be redone and we have to replace the head gasket the rod bearing on cylinder number four and uh, we have to replace all the gaskets and components then we remove to access the cylinder area which is going to be um, uh, a little more expensive than expected and uh, this is something that you have to keep in mind if you repair your engine for example and uh, after a while everything went all right I mean but it suddenly everything started to uh, getting bad like this that means then uh, yeah, it's possible that you have a defect from factory and that is the reason why this problem is causing. Uh, the problem is that if you buy the parts, for example, like if you bought these parts from Freilander dealer, they didn't do the job, you just bought the parts, you go to a mechanic like me or anybody else to do the, the job. So the dealer is just going to cover the components they are not going to cover the labor because they sold the parts to you only they didn't install the parts so when the dealer does the job for example if you take this truck to the dealership and they do the whole overhaul and uh, this happens the dealer will cover everything including labor maybe not everything but most of it they will cover it so um, and they will include labor as well because it's a defect from factory and they're gonna cover that but in this case labor gotta be paid again and it is just the component which is the cylinder number four and the piston number four the ones that are going to be covered under warranty because that that is the only components that are bad and uh, uh, and that is the difference on uh, doing the job on an uh, independent shop or doing it on the dealer. But you know, dealer is going to cost twice as three times more than an uh, independent shop. So that is going to be pretty much even at the end if you think about it. But uh, we have the details here i just wanted to show you then it is possible then if you repair your engine for example if you repair your engine and uh you're getting this issue it is possible then the parts were uh defected from factory and that is the reason why you are getting the problem it is not all the time it happens here and there but it doesn't happen all the time it's something then you will uh, find out once you open everything but it is possible that happen. So um, I know that many of you already um, got this problem before. So if you have, please use the comment section below and leave all the details about what happened to you before and um, including uh, how you solve the problem. Because uh, this will help everybody to realize that yeah, everything is exposed to problems and new parts are not exceptions and uh it is always good to do that so it's very important for you to comment below and also if you have any type of advices or recommendations please comment below that will be helpful for everybody and um you wanna ask me anything directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube then you can ask me anything about uh, this or anything else just uh, have the uh, pictures videos cuts or anything else that can be helpful in the seek of the answer that you are looking for and if you want to send support to the channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel uh, creating content like this for all of you uh, like the video share it and thank you for watching